Good evening. This is Audio Heads, part of Geeks Assembled. And we are in our spooky time. And this is very spooky. Um, we are reviewing today, Lee and I, Dracula's Guests. And it's a new tale called The Nardist's Tale. And it is horrifying and incredibly intense. So um, without further ado, let us open this, this podcast with Lee. Lee, what did you think about an artist's tale? Please. Ooh, right, where to start? Um, it was an hour, an hour and six minutes long. So for me, that was about the ideal length for this story. Um, if it had gone on a bit longer, uh, I would have got a bit bored of it. But uh, in the condensed an hour and six minutes, um, as you say, yes, yeah, scary. Um, Atmospheric, very atmospheric, the, the, and the soundscapes are brilliantly done. David Bamba, who plays uh, the artist Jeremiah Hart in in this one, brilliant actor, brilliant British actor. Um, he's been in loads and loads of TV and stuff like that, a character actor. Um, he's done a, f- a few big finishes as well. Um, very well, well played. As, you know, as the artist travel, traveling to um, Transylvania on the uh, request of Count Dracula to do a portrait. Um, I the problem with it is, is there's two main problems with this one. Well, I, I say so I haven't listened to any of the others in the in the set, but the problem is, this is told partly as a drama acted out and also as in narration from letters and diary entries um, which I believe is how Bram Stoker wrote it in the book in the novella so yeah good for them they haven't really changed much but for me, as Susan knows I'm not a big fan of narration so it did great on me a bit because there is a lot of it in this story but there's also a lot of acting out pieces as well um so that's one gripe and the other gripe is it's called dracula's guests yes okay he's gathering the guests but uh dracula didn't even appear in this it was less than what five minutes ten minutes at the most yeah it was an hour and six minutes. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're gonna. I mean, I, I say I've not read the the original story, so I don't know how it how true to the Stoker story this ad- adaptation is. But um, yeah, if if you see Dracula's Dracula's name on something, you expect to have Dracula. Um, yeah, he was there. Because he did do a little bit of narration at the beginning, a little bit of narration at the end, um, but in between it was all David Bamba playing, uh, acting as uh, Jeremiah Hart, the artist. But um, for me, it, it was the atmosphere, it was the scenery of, of Transylvania, even the seedy side of London um, at the beginning of the story is brilliantly done. So yeah, that's my opening thoughts for now. So over to you. Well, yeah, I knew uh, that you were not going to enjoy the narration, the the, the, the story part of, of this of this, you know, audio drama. Um, and but uh, you know, it, it was told the same way that the the Dracula, the story of Dracula was told. I have never read Dracula's Guest. I just found out that it was a novella 
when we began doing this audio and <clears throat> I have I have to read this now. And I just found out that it's in the book that Lee has just purchased for himself. And so, yeah, that's a really um, amazing uh, find in, in, in terms of some more vampire lore. And I agree, it was, there wasn't enough Dracula in it. I mm. did like the beginning where the artist was having a new model posed for him. And I mean, that was highly erotic. Yes. It was super <laughs> highly erotic. And I just found that that was so sensual. That was like an Anne Rice erotic sort of scene there. And I really love, you know, vampires in the erotic part of vampirism. And so, yeah, I enjoyed that a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, so um, the acting was grand. The story had a few really, uh, you know, really eerie, really scary parts. And that was, um, they were beautiful and I thought that the part in in Germany was super cool where the, he went down this one road only to be cut like cornered by wolves and all that stuff. I mean that was that was a bit Nosferatu because <laughs> there was I mean here it was in Germany and not in Transylvania and then they, he carried on going to Transylvania so maybe in Dracula's guest are all the seeds of all of the all of the vampire war I don't know having never read it but it, it was definitely a rich tapestry in this one and I, tapestry, yeah. yeah I really enjoy the 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 tap the the parts of the that are narrated personally i like a narrated story and so this was enjoyable um i think that uh i think that it was the right timing i i um and i you know i hope that the next stories in this box set are as sexy as this one because this was sexy <laughs> anyway yeah uh so um yeah i think that's all my opening thoughts uh let's go to our favorite moments um, um oh God. favorite moments um well i do like the as you say the beginning with with uh, jeremy hart is as you say, painting this new new model, nude model as well, nude new nude model. Um, she was a bit of a flirt, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, he got yes, he got his blood pressure uh, rising. He she did. Um, that was that scene was quite good. I wasn't expecting that because that was really bang bang up right at the beginning of the the, the audio. Uh, I thought, all right. Well, this is how the setting it set at the beginning with. Well, let's see how it go goes on, um, and then he gets, and then he say he gets this letter from the count. I mean, I don't know where he the count has heard of him before, but he demands to come across to Transylvania to do a portrait for him. So it's tra as you say, it's travelled across Europe uh, to, through Germany, uh, and the the scene with the the coach driver and and. The artist uh, debating, we, we we need to go on, we need to go on. No, but he was uh, stuck in his ways. He wanted to go down that that other road to see this village, uh, to see the graves of all these people who had died in you know a hundred or so years ago. Um, this haunted, um, I can't, what did they call it? Was it a haunted area of the of the land? Um, but you saw. 
Ed Strog, he wanted to do it. He let the coach go. There's no way, no way on earth would I have done that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and the scene with the big bad wolf. I mean, straight away you knew that was that was that was Dracula. Straight away, that was Dracula in in the wolf wolf form. Um, but yeah, I mean. I know you love narration. I, I'm not so. I'm not keen on narration, but this, as it was written in narration form, as in diary form and stuff like that. And if they're using the original idea of, of the of the story, then you know why change it? Uh, so big thumbs up to that. But as I say, I'm not a big fan of narration. I went along with it. I went along with it. So I can see why people do like narration. Because it sort of adds something to a tale. It it, it expands a story. It, 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 you know, a 40 minute story turns into an hour story because you add this detailed narration. You know, so it does add to it. But as I say, I'm just not a big fan of it. You know, so I can I can take it or leave narration. But uh, it, 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 it works with this story, shall I say. So, yeah, over to you, Susan. So yeah, the the wolf, yeah, the Dracula as a wolf character, you know, moment was brilliant. Um, although I didn't think it was Dracula himself, I think it was Dracula controlling the wolves. Uh, because, well, it was, it's uh, not said. Well, it, but at the end of the story, that the artist says he seems that he's he's. He's saved him. He, he feels like he's, he's he's met him. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I'm assuming that the wolf might have been Dracula. Okay. Well, that's, that, a, yeah, that's a hell of a poke from Transylvania to Germany just to... But, you know, he could, he could have been using his flying. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, these vampires and their ways. Uh, they're... They are myriad. Um, I did like the the. I did feel really sucked into that that part part of the story where they were. He was talking about going down this, um, down this road, mm. to to see the graves. I, I thought that that was. I mean, it was amazingly well told. And then there was the other part. Uh, at the castle where he was um, where he was just surrounded by you know beauty and stuff and, and was getting ready to paint and I thought that Mark Gatiss did a great job at that point as Dracula mm -hmm. I really um, I thought that there was a uh, that that was he was quite sinister and you know i've i've listened to the other one the 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 dracula the the one that came out first but is actually the third in the story um so yeah uh liked it uh so yeah really amazing and rich story and well, I'm, I'm really I, I really hope that we do a lot of vampire stories for for this Halloween spooky time I mean I know we're doing what are, what are we doing this week we're doing Hellraiser and Rosemary's Baby Rosemary's Baby all right well uh, it's not vampires but that's all right we will just we'll just keep going um I I will uh, try and sneak another one in, convince, <laughs> convince Lee to do another vampire tale. Uh, if there's any audio drama of Anne Rice's work, yeah, all right, I'm up for it. I'm up for it. All right, um, so, uh, yeah, uh.
any just, she's just thinking about vampires now. That's it. She's yeah. gone. She's <laughs> yes. Um. So, okay, let's let's go to our final say and score, unless we have anything other to say. Yeah. It was en it was enjoyable for a, a, I mean it's a three story box set so this is the first story um, and it didn't it wasn't boring you know you know it, it did as you say you were drawn in um, to the uh, this is it wasn't action bound but it it did draw you into the atmospheric story of his travel through Germany going on to Transylvania. Um, so my only gripe is a little bit of the narration, but it, it works with the story and Gatiss is underused it, it, as Dracula. Um, you know, but if this is how the story was written, who am I to, uh, to you know, bring more Dracula into it? But I would have loved, liked to have had more Dracula involvement in the story. This may have been just like the first one mm. in, in the whole series. Yeah. Yeah, so, well, this is sort of like a prequel, isn't it, to yeah. the Dracula story. And then uh, Dracula the, War is the sequel to or something. I don't know. It's, yeah. uh, it's getting a bit confusing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but for me, I enjoyed it. We man a with the minor gripes of mine, uh, I'm giving it a a chilling, a chilling eight point five. Oh, nice. That's a good score there, Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, the darkness has taken. Um, you know it's toll on 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 jeremiah and so i will give this a nine paint brushes full of blood Ooh. Uh, or or nine nude models out of ten yeah i'd go down that route yeah <laughs> yes. I knew you would. And we won't torture you any longer, but we will come back in in a fortnight and perhaps do the second of this chilling tale uh, of Dracula's guest. And try not to get walled into a place behind a wall buried alive. Try not to get stuck with a damnable wolf in the middle of a, of a German glade and try to get some sleep. Mm. Oh, the one thing, one more thing, one more thing. This introduced Renfield as a as a copper mm -hmm. and it introduced Van Helsing and it introduced uh, it introduced all the characters as a beginning point I, yeah. I, I, I wanted to mention that and so small, I, small, small little scenes small little scenes yeah 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 so I had almost forgotten but I remembered Anyway, thanks for watching our podcast. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment and hit the bell notifications because we come out with more than one a week. And we would love it if you would uh, join us on these podcasts. I tell you the truth, Lee bites, but not very... Uh, gently, anyway. Um, I have another gentle bite. Yeah. So. I draw blood. Please, please contact him if you if you feel like joining us and um, follow us on social media. 
Lee Wilson at Lee Wilson um, on Instagram at, uh, at Geeks Assembled on Twitter, Geeks Assembled Facebook group, mm -hmm. and Geeks Assembled on Tumblr. And um, what else is what else do we have? YouTube. Oh, but aren't they watching this on YouTube? My friend, well, you, don't know, yeah. you don't know what these people are up to, do you? You don't really. So, I mean, <laughs> if you're watching this on some other platform, please find us on YouTube as well. <laughs> but if you're watching on YouTube, you already know this to be true. Mm. Anyway, uh, I will see you in a couple days. Good day. Goodbye.